ये हमारा मल्टी टर्बाइन डस्ट बेड है दिस वन ओके दिस वन इज मल्टी टर्बाइन डस्ट बेड ओके हेयर यू कैन सी यू कैन सी वी हैव यू कैन परफॉर्म थ्री प्रैक्टिकल दैट इज कॉल्ड इट इज मल्टी टर्बाइन डस्ट सिस्टम ओके सो हेयर यू कैन सी दिस वन इज एक्चुअली टर्बाइन दिस इज एक्चुअली टर्बाइन एंड दिस वन इज जनरेटर द शैफ्ट इज हेयर टू कपल दिस टर्बाइन विद दिस शैफ्ट ओके सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द टर्बाइन द वाटर फ्लो Uh, inward to the turbine from this pipe. Okay, you can see this is the inward flow. That is radial. You can see axis is this one and radial. And outflow is with this duct duct pipe. You can see here this duct tube and this is parallel to x-axis. So outflow is axial. Okay, so here this turbine. And in this turbine, you can see you can just change the runner. Runner. If you change the runner of uh, uh, capillary turbine, this is the capillary turbine. If this you will change this runner inside this 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 will become uh, different turbine. If the runner is of transit turbine, this is a transit turbine, and if if it is Pelton turbine, we will see later. So that will be Pelton. Okay. So here you can see this one is the control panel, and in this control panel, every reading in digital form is available. Okay. So uh, in uh, in <coughs> overall scenario is that you will supply electricity. And here is the centrifugal pump. Here uh, below is you can see this is centrifugal pump, and this pump will feed the water to the turbine. Okay. So actually, in real scenario, this uh, uh, centrifugal pump, which is driven with the three-phase induction motor right now, this is not available. This is actually uh, in real scenario is the head available, water head is available. That that is directly injecting water to the turbine through pen stop. Okay. But here for the demonstration, you need this one. And another question may be. For example, uh, we will switch on this turbine, and you can see here that uh, power is this power is more as compared to the output power. The question will be that why we are generating power? Is the input power is more and output power is less. So this is as just for demonstration. Otherwise, this power no need this power. This power is actually taken from the head, which is very very freely from water. Okay, so that is actually uh, different. So <coughs> now you can see water will uh, you can see. You will just, for example, uh, you switch on from here. You can see uh, this is emergency. You can switch on here and stop is here. So just switch on this supply, and uh, this is main switch. You can see first you will on it and then switch on. When you will switch on, all the loads are off, and you can see here that uh, this is the speed controller. This is actually control the speed of this motor. If uh, and uh, indirectly you are actually controlling the flow. So you will change the spe uh, speed with the help of this one. Speed will be increasing, and centrifugal pump will revolve faster. And you can see here that uh, the more water you can see, uh, the centrifugal pump is taking uh, taking water from this tank. Tank is below. You can see this is the water tank. Water is there already. So water will come here from uh, from the uh, centrifugal, and you can see the water will flow to the uh, turbine. Turbine will move. When turbine will move, you can see the shaft is coupled with the generator, and generator will rotate. When generator will rotate, this is the DC generator. Output voltage and current output power will be there, and the load is connected here. You can see this is actually the resistive load, and resistive load you can see here. This one is the black box. This is actually the resistive load. This black box. Okay. So this actually the output of from here is connected with this black box. Resistive load. So this resistive load is controlled by these switches. Okay. One switch, one load, more load, like that combination. L1, L2, then L1 plus L2, then L3, like that. These are the combination mentioned in your manual in the paper. Uh, the combination means you are increasing the load or uh, decreasing the resistance of the load. So <coughs> you will increase the load from here. You will see input is constant, and you can see the speed of this this uh, motor or you can say pump same uh, centrifugal pump same speed. You will see this this scenario. You can see this digital um, all the digital meters related to this centrifugal pump and motor. And these uh, three are related to turbine and generator, and these two are related to turbine output, electrical. Okay. So now we will discuss one by one. For example, here you can see this is the flow rate. So flow rate is this one. This is flow meter, meter cube per second. It will show the uh, flow, how much flow is here, and its flow rate is controlled with this control. Okay. So there is a manual system also there. Check this. So you can see flow meter here, flow rate, and Q. This is Q. Liter per minute. Okay. And then there is a power. This power is actually input power. 
and this power voltage and current this is the output uh, voltage uh, of the generator output current of the generator that is actually the current flowing through the load in the start when the generator will start no load is there so it means off mean current will be zero so as you will switch on you will see voltage uh, current will rise and voltage may be drop like that so output power will be the combination of these these two and uh, then there is a this one power is actually the input power of this you will see that the output power is less and this one is more this is what i have explained earlier so then there is a pressure this pressure is actually you can see here these are two pressure gauges uh, this is for the turbine you can see this pressure is actually you can see here the inlet pressure this is the inlet pressure this is pressure gauge and the uh, outlet pressure is this one you can see here uh, if you will put it here one the same digit, uh, digital meter is showing the two readings uh, one at a time if the position is here you can see one is pt1 pt1 is actually you can see here this one pt3 uh, yes sir ah yes this row is actually this one i already told this one is actually so okay pt1 is actually you can see here where is pt1 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 uh, you PT1. can see here. pt1 pt1 ah yes the uh, inward flow to the centrifugal pump this is actually inward flow pt1 this pt1 is actually you can see here when you will put it here pt1 is at in bars okay this way now pt here you will put it here pt2 P, where is pt2 pt2 is the output pressure of the centrifugal pump here is output yes oh well done yes so this is pt2 this is pressure okay so this pressure is you can you can see pt2 then we don't no, no need this for calculation but uh, in, in in the table you will feel it okay then there is speed this speed rpm is actually the speed sensor is there you can see here this is the shaft of the pump and the motor uh, shaft is same and there is a speed sensor here and this speed sensor is measuring the uh, speed in rpm and that is actually the rpm okay and the same speed sensor you can see here uh, this is the speed sensor you can see here this is not the speed sensor this speed sensor jo hai ye aapki reading nahi lag raha ye wala ye wo generator ki aur turbine ki speed hogi hame ye chahiye chahiye graph ke liye the speed versus efficiency of pump to ye aapka ho gaya ye speed speed acha uske baad torque to torque ke liye hamara load cell hai lagaya hua direct r into f se nahi load cell to idhar aap dekhe to ek tar ye hai jo ki ye load cell lagaya ye laga hai ye ye अब ये जो जैसे इस पे लोड पड़ता है तो ये थोड़ा सा मूव करता है तो ये लोड सर इतना सेंसिटिव है कि वो आपका इसको चेक करके तो टार्क में निकाल देता है इसको फोर्स को देख के ये टार्क में आपका वो वाला जनरेटर का टार्क यहाँ आ जाएगा इसी तरह का लोड सेल अगर आपने इधर से निकालना है हमें टार्क चाहिए ये वाला वो जो फार्मूले में हमें चाहिए मैकेनिकल पावर उसमें टार्क और जो स्पीड चाहिए उसमें टार्क ये चाहिए और स्पीड ये चाहिए कुछ उनकी चाहिए तो ये जो टार्क है ये वाला ये इसके लिए स्पीड सेंसर आप जो टार्क लोड सेल है उधर लगा हुआ था देखिए उधर लगा हुआ ये 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 साइड साइड पे लगा लगा इधर 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 तो तो आपका है है जो जो के अच्छा अच्छा अब अब मुझे भी हो गया उसके बाद देखिए जब प्रेशर गेज हमने आउटपुट के लिए हमने टार्क ले लिया और स्पीड ले ली ये वाली आउटपुट पावर तो आ गई ना अब इनपुट के लिए हमें प्रेशर चाहिए प्रेशर गेज है फ्लो रेट फ्लो रेट हमने यहाँ से ले लिया था जो कि हमारा था ये वाला जो एक फिक्सी था ये और जो प्रेशर था वो हमने प्रेशर का डिफरेंस है इनलेट प्रेशर माइनस आउटलेट अब इनलेट ट्रबाइन का इनलेट ये है ये देखिए ये हमने यहाँ से लिया ये आपका है ये देखिए तो पी है ये वन के फर्क है पी टी देगा ये वाला पी तो आप देखें तो ये वाला है इनलेट और जैसे ट्रबाइन से पानी निकल के ये देखिए बाहर जा रहा है ना ये बाहर उधर ये साथ ही सेंसर लगा हुआ है जो इधर आ रहा है देखिए जैसे पानी बाहर निकल उधर ये आउटलेट है आउटलेट आउट फ्लो है प्रेशर जो है ये पी टी फोर है तो ये आपका पी टी फोर हो जाएगा ठीक है इधर करेंगे तो पी टी फोर आ जाएगा तो पी टी थ्री माइनस पी टी फोर वो पी गेज आ जाएगा हमारा ठीक है पी गेज भी आ गया और फ्लो रेट आ गए इस फ्लो मीटर से भी लेकिन दिस मान तो फ्लो रेट मल्टीप्लाई बाई द डिफरेंस ऑफ दीज दीज टू फ्लोज इनलेट एंड आउटलेट दिस मल्टीप्लाई फ्लो रेट यू विल गेट द इनपुट हाइड्रो पावर गॉट दी पॉइंट तो नो यू कैन फाइंड दिन सी फॉर डिफरेंट रोड्स these readings will be different the input is same but output you can say the voltage uh, uh, this uh, output voltage and current will be uh, different and also torque and speed will be different so with the help of this one you will uh, draw the graph of efficiency and with the help of this one you will need the output power which is electrical power okay so this is
overall scenario and uh, I think so everything is explained and these are also there or not so uh, remaining geographies are the